there had been some interest in how we utilize rabbit urine and why rabbit urine, which we think is like the um, liquid gold. Uh, I know people talk about uh, worm uh, effluent as being black gold and such. Rabbit, rabbit urine is the deal. And I learned about this from, hey sweetheart, I learned about this from uh, watching public TV, African public TV. Uh, we have an orphanage that we support in Uganda and one in Myanmar. And I'm always trying to see what they're doing uh, to utilize their resources compared to what we're doing here. If something we're doing here can profit them or vice versa. So the rabbit urine uh, on, on farms that raise rabbit, they are able to cover all of their cost with the sale of rabbit urine so that their pellets uh, and their meat and their pelts and everything else is just profit. And it's huge because the rabbit urine is used as a source of not only what we talked about as a pesticide and insecticide, non-kill, but it's also a great fertilizer. So what we've done is that we have the, the, the corrugated sheets underneath the rabbit cages and angled so that the urine flows down into the trough, yeah. goes down into the gutter system. And the gutter system, that's, hey sweetheart, okay, the gutter system is built so that it flows down into a bucket at the end of the gutter system. And when this collects the urine and then we store it in, in five gallon pails and, and, and use, utilize that when it's time to either, um, uh, well, I'll tell you this, that all the corn that we grew on the farm, this was our only source of nitrogen and fertilizer, strictly rabbit urine. And we produced corn when nobody else was producing corn. So uh, it is really, really of great value to us. And we collect a lot of it. We have now, not counting our grow outs, between our, our does and our buck, we have... We have two bucks and only three does because we're gearing up again with some new 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 stock and some new breeding uh, does. But uh, this this is this is a great resource for us, and it's and it's just uh, do your research. You know, get, get on get watch the YouTube videos from African public TV, and um, the language is a little difficult. They're speaking English, but it's a little difficult to understand. You might have to run it two or three times before you get the full gist of what they're doing. But um, the, the rabbit urine is is gold. It is, it is homestead, it is natural, it is organic, it is God's gift to fertilizer in that it's also, you know, if, if now, no. uh, I had talked about ratios. If you put rabbit urine on your plants straight, it is gonna burn. It's the pellets that are cold. So don't put straight rabbit urine on. Um, when I when I do, I've talked about in a, another video. When I am watering plants, I'll do seven or ten to one. One part, um, I mean seven parts, ten parts of water to one part of urine. Um, but when we go to use it for a pesticide to drive the insects away, to drive pests away, we mix it much stronger. We mix it two to one. Um, you just want that real distinctive smell. So um, that's that's what we're doing here, and that gives you a little closer look at this this liquid gold that we use on the farm. Great stuff! It is great stuff. You'll see the difference if you take. And, and we did this earlier on on the place. I took. I went to Home Depot or something, Walmart, wherever, and I bought potted plants. I bought six of them exactly alike, and I put. Uh, just water and regular kind of fertilizer on two. I put a mixture of rabbit urine and rabbit manure on two and just straight rabbit urine on two just to see what the difference was. And in a month's time, it was remarkable the difference that had rabbit urine on them. And you really couldn't tell a ton of difference between the rabbit urine and the pellets and the rabbit urine. Uh, the rabbit pellets are for the more for the soil. I mean, there's, there's huge... Um, nutrient value in the pellets but if you've got urine uh, you know the pellets are almost negligible at that point they really do to create um, create good soil
Amen? Amen? Mm -hmm. So, uh, also, let me say this one thing before we wrap up. Okay. Yeah, so, um, the pellets will come down the gutter system uh, and, and either collect like they have here, or sometimes they'll fall down into the gutter. Then, so the gutter will become full. It's clean now. We actually just cleaned it out, but the gutter itself will become full of pellets and urine and and uh, feed and as we're feeding the cantaloupes and um, and melons and things that we collect from our local grocer in their produce department, the stems of broccoli, parsley, other things that they'll give us, the the leaves of the cabbages and lettuces that don't look real good. We don't use iceberg lettuce with the rabbits. All that collects down into this gutter and then we'll wash all of it to the end. I'll empty the bucket at the end and we'll wash all of it to the end and collect all of that mass of solids and liquids and then around the farm, you know, where we have camellias, I'm being attacked, camellias and azaleas. Tiala trees, uh, everything that's ornamental on the farm that we're using uh, to um, just enhance the beauty of this place. We'll use that. We just just dump it on because it's got so much water that it's diluting the rabbit urine, and then it's got all that other stuff in it. So it's a great place just to dump that and let it compost itself. And as it rains, it'll just drive nutrients in the soil and feed those plants. I got girls. Have you noticed? Yes, I got girls. Daddy. Yes, baby. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>